Allow me to get straight to the point for time is short. I am a psychiatrist. For 15 years, I was a psychiatrist of Michael Myers. He was six years old when he was inducted into a mental institution after he killed his own big sister. <gasps> killed his sister? Why did he do that? I don't know. I spent eight years trying to reach Myers before coming to the conclusion that he was purely and simply evil and advised that Michael Myers must never be released. Sadly, no one believed that someone can be that evil. Fifteen years later, Michael Myers ran away from Smith's Grove Sanitarium and returned to his home in Haddonfield to start his massacre. Many people died on that day by Michael's hands. Haddonfield? That's where we are! Is this the guy Blue Mary is chasing? But haven't you tried to kill this guy? I shoot him with a gun multiple times every single time we meet. Michael was gunned down, stabbed, and electrocuted and even burned alive. He just won't die. Every single time you meet? You fought this guy more than once? Yes, always in this town. Always on Halloween. Sometimes Michael manages to escape with terrible bruises. Other times we manage to capture him. Michael is sent back to a mental institution, but he always manages to break free just in time for Halloween. So is that why there isn't anyone out in the streets? Yes, the people of Haddonfield are cursed by Michael. Michael Myers might seem like a normal human, but he is not. No mortal man could live all that he lived through. The more he kills, the more he exceeds into something impossible to overwhelm. Fear is the true curse of Michael Myers. Man, I don't know who is worse, this guy or Jason. Oh, I don't believe it. Another spooky place, another crazy lunatic. I mean, how can this happen to the same guy twice?